Good evening, everyone. It is April the 7th, 2016. The time right now is 6.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This video is going to be on this newly found planet, Planet 9, and we're going to take a look. Could this be the mysterious winged planet? Could this be Planet uh, X, Planet 7X, Nibiru, Wormwood? And is this the end of the world as we know it? We're going to take a look at what's going on. In Yellowstone, the seismic activity is ramping up. Is something about to happen to change the face of humanity? What I want to do is I want to address this video to my Christian brothers and sisters that are born again. Praise God. I want to call upon you to search your heart and to search the scriptures. Amen. I want you to use the gifts and draw upon the gifts of the Holy Spirit that God has given you. Praise God. I want you to use the gift of discernment when watching this video. Now, there's a lot of talk today all across the YouTube channels, amen, about this uh, newly found planet, Planet 9, and what's happening. Something is going on at Yellowstone. Could this be the end of the world as we know it? Again, I beseech you, brother, and praise God, I beseech you to search your heart and search the scriptures. I have been saying for some time that there is something is coming. Something is approaching. And as far as this newly found planet, Planet 9, or whatever you want to call it, maybe this is now they're finally coming out, that they have discovered this rogue planet, Planet X, Planet 7X, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's being known now. I can tell you this, that twice over the past number of years, I seen, I witnessed, amen, with my own natural eyes on two different occasions. And I wasn't using a camera, so it wasn't a lens flare, and it wasn't a sun dog. I witnessed a second sun. I witnessed an object next to the sun. So I believe this, that there is something out there. But again, I want you to search the scriptures, search your heart, and call upon the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Use discernment with this video. It's so very important. Let me take you to an article uh, that came out today. Now, this is from the New York Post, and it actually came out yesterday. It's April 6, 2016. Newly discovered planet could destroy Earth any day now. I want you to look at that headline. Could destroy Earth any day now, amen. I want my Christian born-again brothers and sisters to understand what this headline, and this is the New York Post, could the earth at this point in time be destroyed any day now? A mysterious planet that wiped out life on earth millions of years ago could do it again according to the top scientists. And some believe the apocalyptic event could happen as early as this month, I want you to search your heart. Amen. Praise God. Could this happen this month in Bible prophecy? Search your heart. Call upon the Holy Spirit to give you the discernment. Planet 9, a new planet discovered at the edge of our solar system in January, has triggered comet showers and that bombed the Earth's surface, killing all life, says Daniel Whitmire of the University of Louisiana. I'm going to put the link to this below. The astrophysicist says the planet has a 20,000-year orbit around the sun, and at its closest to us, it knocks asteroids and the comets toward Earth. Could this be what the seismic activity in the Yellowstone, could this be the earthquakes that have been taking place? Fossil evidence has suggested most life on Earth is mysteriously wiped out every 26 million to 27 years. Whitmire claims Planet 9's Passage through a rock-laden area called the Cooper Belt is responsible for the extinction events. Conspiracy theorists in the 80s and 90s previously claimed a red dwarf planet called Nibiru, or Nemesis, which orbits two uh, 
close to earth every 36,000 years was behind the events. Now some are convinced, amen, there will be a collision or a near miss before the end of April this month. Nibiru was widely dismissed as a crackpot science until Planet Nine was uh, identified in January by the California Institute of Technology. And I mean, this came out yesterday. There is something out there, and this is from the New York Post. Now, again, I cannot stress enough, I plead with my Christian and brothers and sisters, praise God, to draw upon the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit, and use the gift that God has given you. Use discernment. Amen. When we are talking about such end time cataclysmic events, will the world come to an end? Will life cease to exist on this planet as we know it? I want to take you to a video that was uploaded today by Pastor Paul Begley, and this is not an attack, amen, against Brother Paul Begley. This is not an attack. I am reaching out to the Christian community on YouTube, to my brothers and sisters. I'm reaching out to you to search your heart and to search the scriptures. Let me take you to this uh, video, and it has to do with NASA saying that this Planet Nine is pulling on a Saturn's probe. Now, once again, let me stress, this is by no means an attack on Brother Paul Begley, but I am pleading I am appealing to the bride, to the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am pleading with you to use discernment when we are talking about such events that could bring cataclysmic type apocalyptic events to wipe out humanity on this planet. This is titled Update. NASA says Planet Nine is tugging on Saturn's probe, and uh, right now he done this video earlier today. Three thousand six hundred and forty Bible believing brothers and sisters, born again, covered in the blood, sisters, watched this video. I tried to find any information on this, but I could. But I want you to search your heart. I want you to search the scriptures. Praise God. When we are looking at such things, and all I could find is uh, when you go to the links, there's nothing really there. Uh, there's no article there, just a, to his PayPal uh, for his donations. But uh, I did a little bit of searching, and I did uncover uh, something that I want to share with all of you right now. Let me do that. Let me go there. Now, please, beloved brothers and sisters, uh, brethren, I want you to watch this entire video. And you will begin to understand, praise God, that this is not to instill fear in the bride or to distract you from Jesus. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I did a little research and uh, I did find this, uh, not from NASA, it's from Live Science. Is Mysterious Planet 9 tugging on NASA? Saturn probe. And let me share a little bit of this uh, with you. The hunt is on to find Planet Nine, a large, undiscovered world, perhaps ten times as massive as Earth and four times its size. Does this mean, brethren, but this object could pull in an asteroid that could wipe off the face of the Earth, all of human life, or cause seismic activity at Yellowstone to destroy this planet. I want you to search the prophecies. I want you to search the Old Testament. I want you to search the New Testament. I want you to search the words and teachings of Jesus. I want you to search the book of Revelation. A large undiscovered world, perhaps ten times as massive as Earth and four times its size that scientists think could be lurking in the outer solar system. After Constantin Vetgen and Mike Brown, two planetary scientists from the California Institute of Technology, presented evidence for its existence. I'm not going to make a long video. You'll have this link. This January, other teams have searched for further proof by analyzing archived images and uh, 
her colleagues lay new observations to find it with the world's largest telescopes and they are searching for this they are acknowledging that there is this rogue planet out there i'm not denying that uh, but i cannot deny praise god i can't deny the holy bible i can't deny scripture when it comes to this uh possibility of this planet nine uh, pulling on saturn's probe uh, we uncover and you will uncover i don't want to spend a lot of time on this but um i don't know the exact spot i didn't want to take too long on this but there is an experiment being done uh that during this experiment it could be a possibility uh but uh this could uh, happen let me see if i can find it uh batgin and brown made the case for planet nine's existence based on its gravitational effort on uh, several uh cooper belt objects icy bodies that circle the sun beyond neptune's orbit uh theoretically though its gravity should also tug slightly on the planets moons and even any orbiting spacecraft with this in mind agnes here we go finger at the Cote d'Azur Observatory in France and her colleagues checked whether a uh, theoretical uh, model, they made a model, one that they have uh, been perfecting for over a decade, with a new addition of Planet Nine could better explain slight uh, uh, perturbations seen in uh, Cassini's orbit. Without it, the eight planets in their solar system, 200 asteroids, and five of the most massive uh, Kubler belt objects cannot perfectly account for it. The missing puzzle might be just a ninth planet. So it's just uh, what they were experimenting with. Uh, they were just experimenting with this uh, possibility of a gravitational pull on Saturn's probe. I'll be right back. I come to you in love, agape love. Praise God, I beseech you, brethren, beloved. Do we throw away all the years and all of the teachings and all the scriptural knowledge, amen, that has been given to us that we have studied and learned over the years? And what effect will this have on the new creations in Christ, the new born-again believers, the babes in Christ? It seems like today... Amen. But the masses of Christian brothers and sisters are flocking by the masses to this. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, we've got a report right now. The mysterious planet number nine. Or is, is planet number nine, is it Nibiru? Or is there Nibiru and a planet number nine? Well, NASA is getting concerned as this mysterious planet number nine is tugging on NASA's Saturn probe. There's been a report on Space.com uh, says that the hunt is on to find planet nine, a large undiscovered world, perhaps ten times as massive as Earth. Now, beloved, I ask you i ask you do we throw out the entire book of daniel daniel's 70th week do we do away with do we just toss out the window the teachings of jesus in matthew 24 do we throw out the book of revelation do we just take god's holy word do we take the holy bible and just toss it out or do we follow scripture? The church today, the body of the believers, I want you to understand something, Satan is still very powerful. He's the prince of the air. He has not fallen yet with his angels. Today, Christian, born again, brothers and sisters, you're under ferocious attack from the enemy in every area and every aspect of your life he is coming on the attack of the born again the believer amen praise god the true bride today he is attacking you 
in your mind, in your health, in your finances, and your mental state of mind, every area he can to pull you away, to draw your attention away from Jesus. I want you to understand the prophecies are being fulfilled. There is no doubt that there is some planet out there. These things will happen. 2011, there is no question the birth pains have begun. We've seen it with the mass animal die-ups around the world. The massive landslides, mudslides, the flooding, earthquakes in diverse places, war and the rumors of war, famine, hunger, disease, plagues, of pestilence. This giant tsunami and this 9.0 earthquake that devastated Japan and Fukushima. Millions of fish washing ashore dead, cattle falling over dead, birds falling out of the sky. We know that this is the birth pains, but we're getting ahead of ourselves before anything like this could happen. And I beseech the pastors out there to stop, to stop with all of this fear before anything like this could happen. Prophecy has to unfold. Prophecy has to come to pass. We're not at that point yet. Satan has not fallen yet. He's still powerful. He hasn't fallen with his angels. He has not taken upon a man to sit as if he were God in the third temple. The third temple has not been built yet. It has not yet been constructed. Things have to fall in place and fall in order. But the church today is all out of order. Do we throw away the teachings of Yahweh, the teachings of a holy God? Do we throw away the teachings of Daniel, the prophet? Do we throw away the teachings of Jesus? Do we take the book of Revelation and just toss it to the wayside and jump way ahead of ourselves and have the world coming to a crashing end before we've even gotten past the birth pains? I want to share in closing what I shared on my Facebook page. Praise God. Now, I posted this on my Facebook page. It shows here two hours ago. David, PD, Pastor Dave Zecker, why aren't pastors preaching repentance and good news today? Preachers, pastors, why are you not out here preaching to repent and to repent and the good news of salvation? Instead, people are flocking to pastors that are preaching on Planet Nine and the end of the world events, asteroids to destroy the world, planets to wipe out mankind. So what do we do? Throw out the scriptures? Toss out the King James Bible? The Word of God in Daniel's 70 weeks? The entire book of Revelation? The world gets destroyed before the rebuilding of the third temple? Before Satan even falls? Before he invokes the body of a man? Before the Antichrist has come? Why do people not read their Bibles? Prophecy has to be fulfilled first. Thank you all for watching. Praise God. To God be the glory, for his word is the only truth. Amen.